I guess we can start uh, here. So first of all, you guys should switch over your contracts uh, to the September contract. We have uh, more volume now on the September contract than the June contract, um, which is why if you're looking at the June contract, the uh, candle chart might look a little bit spacey at times. So just a little heads up on that. Um, there is an SMT with the highs here. Obviously we've got, you know, what looks to be relative equal highs here on, on NQ and ES. However, Dow Jones has swiped those. So, I mean, as of right now, I am still feeling, uh, as I told you guys yesterday, my bias for the for the week was that we were gonna still come lower for some sell side levels um, that we had resting this week uh, before the push higher. Obviously yesterday we ended up just flying uh, like 300 some points. Um, I didn't take any trades at all yesterday. Um, but we'll see here. I'm just going to stay patient. Um, pretty different looking structure, I would say. Obviously, ES looking, I would say, pretty bullish with this move up here after open. And uh, meanwhile, NQ just worked a little bit lower. So, yeah, I'm staying patient. I do think that this all looks pretty clean in here uh, as far as a sell side target uh, to come wipe all this out, even if price did want to work uh, higher still today to me I, I think a rebalance is is still necessary probably to at least equilibrium but we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see i don't really see anything that i like just yet i kind of would like to see honestly this like we're gonna get short um either displacement through this low that we could look to get it on, maybe a move to equilibrium. Otherwise, I kind of would like to see these highs ran through uh, at least. But yeah, I don't really see anything that I care to take short right now, to be honest. ES looking like it might hold this fair value gap and push higher still as well. Mark out this buy side here. So let's see what we get here, guys. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Day before holiday as well, Juneteenth tomorrow, bank holiday. Trading into a two minute bearish gap here. Hmm. Might even play the inverse of this gap here. Might risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna add one short right now, guys. Sorry, that was quick. Uh, I'm gonna put my buy, I'm just doing one right now. Testing the waters, get my feet wet. Let's see if we can get displacement through the low here. If, if so, I might add to this. And then I'm gonna remark equilibrium. That's kind of gonna be my target here. But yeah, inverse play here. Inverse play, traded up into a two minute fair value gap, respected it hard, um, basically engulfed this next candle down. So um, considering I want it to come here anyway, I'm gonna play it. We got a fair value gap being left right here. Well, let's see here. We do have a little SMT that just formed here with ES. Um, I kind of obviously want to see that fail, but Let's see, let's see. I'll probably cut the trade if we were to inverse this gap. But yeah, I would say I would say if the trade fails at this point, it's because of this SMT that just got put in here with ES. Our chart's supposed to look like this. <laughs> Alright, I'm holding for another one minute candle. I don't know. It's it's holding the gap, so ES coming down for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. All right. So stop though. Looks like the SMT did us in here. First trade of the week. Big fat L. Would you still be confident in shorts with relative equal highs on IQ? Yeah. The reason for it, uh, 
I don't know if you want me to just call you Preston or or a little T Press. I'll call you TP. I'm gonna call you TP because take profits. That's a good. That's a good nickname. I call you TP here. But yeah, the reason for I don't think it's it'd be. Good. I mean, if they want to go there, fine. But like, it doesn't need to. Like, we can make sense of shorts. Like, if price were to just dump and like somebody else is just looking at, let's say they're only looking at the NQ chart, they're like, why the fuck would we just put equal highs here and then dump, right? And the reason for it is because. Well, Dow Jones did not leave equal highs, right? One of the indices fucking rated it. So it doesn't need to happen. Even though like ES is looking like the same story, right? Equal, relative equal highs. It doesn't need to go there. And then you could look back and see why you're looking at Dow Jones. But yeah, I mean, to me, maybe this is me just coping. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, I guess. But like, Yeah, I, I don't see how you short anything on the lower time frames unless you're just going to soup this high. But even that's pretty unclear because, I mean, you don't really have an SMT or anything like that. We've already re we've already visited this gap fucking a couple times now. So we we had, we originally shorted because we already visited it and then inversed. Right. There is, an inv there is an inverse play here, though, that uh, I could see logic for. We'll see if we were to enter right there. Get an okay stop. It's not the best, but... Uh, I might try it one more time, guys. Just when this candle closes, I'm just going to probably hop in with one. Put my stop at the candle high. Same, same situation. Try to fucking... Uh, maybe add to this if it keeps displacing lower. But also, same thing, if it if it trades above that, I'm not going to even let it, I'll try not to let it hit my stop, full stop, but, um, you know, if we were to inverse this gap again, same thing, close the trade out. Let her die, let her die, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to try this again. Maybe be able to add to it here. It's got to be careful, though, because, keep in mind, it's a big stop, so, like, adding to this can get really heavy really quick you know it's already fucking 35 points <laughs> oh god ow fucking 35 points do i even want to know seven hundred risk so i mean it's under like it's under that half percent risk if you're on like a 150k sized account but it's not bad you know Definitely, it's just a bigger stop than I'd prefer to have, but we're also on the five minutes, so. So, like, what I want to see to, like, justify any adding to this displacement through not only this low, but probably this low as well. And then looking to add to, like, any uh, rebalancing back to any gaps or whatever, but... Yeah, target is target is uh, equilibrium, same as before. Kind of need to target that in order to uh, get a decent risk reward. If we inverse the gap, cutting the trade. If it hits my full stop, I'm probably just gonna be done. Tuck my tail between my legs, go cry in the fucking corner. In the meantime, let's see here. I'm just gonna check these higher time frames. Like this is all one giant imbalance, so it's hard to like pick one 30 minute, one hour. I like that the I like that equilibrium lines up with 50% of this four hour candle. Let's see if uh, looks like it's pretty close at least. Let's see if we get a four hour fair value gap. Look at that, 50% would be right underneath there too. Sweet. Me likey. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I would say though, just to preface everything, I to, I don't know. To me, the market's a little bit tougher to read this morning. A little bit of thing, a little bit of out of sync. That's why if this loses, I'm just gonna call it because I don't know. I feel like I'll just do. I'll just feel like I'll do more damage if I try to push it. But uh, to me, yeah, it looks good. SMT at the highs, nice stacked lower resistance liquidity here on Dow Jones. We've got um, 
equal those here on ES, you know, and uh, a lot of imbalance resting below all of these in, uh, internal lows here. So, but I guess while we wait, all the confluences for trade, go ahead and mark those out. Why not? Right? You got some time. Confluences. Number one, SMT. Let's, I'm going to do SMT minus, so bearish SMT. And I'm going to put Dow, because that's where the SMT lies. Um, two, oh, I, I actually forgot to mention this. This is something that also kind of went into my bias today. Uh, so, if, fuck, where did it go? Did I, oh, it's on my, sorry. It's on my uh, June contract chart. Let me, let me pull that up quick. NQM, because I got to remember where I drew the... So standard deviation, guys. So I drew from yesterday's manipulation before we just fucking flew. Look, we've already traded all the way to negative four standard deviation from that. And formed SMT at the high. So like to me, we're fucking ready to go down. We're ready. We're, we're ready to at least rebalance. I'm not saying we're going to fucking tank, but we're ready to rebalance before going higher for sure. That's the, that's my moral of the story there. Anyway, so yeah, uh, let's go back here. SMT with Dow. Actually, I should probably put that as number two. SMT with Dow. Negative four, standard deviation. Again, can't go up forever without rebalancing. Um, you know, I guess I'll just say IFVG was our entry. IFVG entry. I'm gonna put, uh, I'll even put five minute chart, five minute. Since the one minute already fucked us. And then four, I'll just say uh, targeting rebalance to EQ. But yeah, so these are all confluences. Yeah, man, I guess uh, if you did more than one contract, these are little degenerates. Partialing is totally on you. I can't partial. I only got one, so don't ask me. <laughs> don't don't make me make the decision for you. It's your account. What I would do, though, is I would partial, me personally, I would partial once I've made back the loss with that partial, and I could ride risk-free on the current current entry here. That is what I'd say. That's what I would personally do. I don't see any other area in here to use for a target, right? Unless there's a, maybe there's a standard deviation level one, one could, uh, one could use here. Oh, it's not the cleanest. Yeah, I don't know. Negative one would be where you'd look. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare fucking... One thing I don't like, if I were to add to this, is the fact that we did swipe that low there. Which did form SMT with a yes. But I'm kind of expecting it to fail. Because to me, there's still more reason to go down. Right? Might do it, guys. Might just say fuck it. <clears throat> Stop for me is going above. I'm just going to put it up here at these highs. Which would allow me to partial. <laughs> oh, you see how I did that? Yep, 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 yep. Let's turn that down here. I'm doubling down. Doubling down. Might fuck me, might not. We'll see. Final two minutes of the macro here. Can we push? Can we push?
I think I'm gonna take my one off. Oh my god, what a terrible fucking. That's terrible. All right, well I took my one off there. It really pushed my average fill down a lot. Um, gonna go risk free now. I just don't like we're coming to the end of this macro and we're just like slowing up right here, hesitating at 50% of this wick. All these magnets didn't really help, did they? All right, guys, break even day for me. No session tomorrow, right? Bank holiday. So that'll be done. Um, or. That'll be a, a day off for us, and then, yeah, we're back at it Thursday and Friday. See if we can uh, make our, our profit those days, I guess. So, All right, guys, enjoy your Tuesday. If you need anything, as always, reach out. You guys know how to reach me, uh, and I will talk to you guys later on. And if nothing else, I'll see you guys on the session uh, Thursday morning. All right, guys, enjoy your day, everybody. We'll talk soon.